and other participants of uh, this session. Friends, the discussion in this session is on the management aspect or the business management aspect of Make in India effort. Our Prime Minister, dynamic Prime Minister Narendra Modi, rightly initiated the Make in India campaign to give boost to our economic growth, substantial increase in the GDP, increase in the employment, job opportunities, so that millions of youth of this country can be given jobs. Friends, so far as government is concerned, Make in India efforts, lot of initiatives are being taken from the end of the government. Say, legal reforms, you must have heard about the land acquisition which is making, uh, which is for uh, making Make in India effort a success. The government is also planning to bring out GST, to roll out GST, still they commit that from 1st of April 2016, they will be rolling out GST. So far, so far as government is concerned, friends, I feel they are making efforts, providing infrastructure, the, the basics to make this campaign happen a success story. But my discussion here would be on a different facet of this issue. And friends, please note that I am neither, a, a, neither an academician nor a research scholar. I am a practicing chartered accountant, uh, maybe more than 30 years I am in practice. I have seen lot many businesses uh, succeeding and failing both. Therefore, I have my own views may not be based on any proven research. But I have my own views about what can make business a success. And unless that is taken care of, may not be from the part of the government, but the individual entrepreneur of the country, the youth of the country, the business people of the country, probably in spite of the best efforts of the government of India, this Make in India campaign, I doubt, seriously doubt, cannot succeed. Friends, managing business, from the point of view, I wish to discuss this issue, I feel has two aspects. There are external factors, there are internal factors. So far as external factors are concerned, we all know that individual entrepreneur has limitation. He cannot control the external factors, he cannot change the external factors. The external factors may move to his advantage, may move to his disadvantage. Very recently, we are witnessing an era where oil prices are reducing. This is one external factor for this country on which India has no control. Even the government of India has no control. The individual businessman has no control. It is presently moving to our advantage. But there are other factors. Suppose. The entire European economy is not showing any improvement. The, the US economy is also not faring well. Due to that, our exports are reducing. You must have heard month on month basis, there is a reduction of almost 20% month on month in our exports. But all these are external factors. We have very limited control. We have to align, realign ourselves to say, adequately face these external factors to our advantage and to make our business successful and survive on the basis of even confronting with this, these external factors. External factors also in India have infrastructure problems. We don't have any control of infrastructure problems. Suppose if today ports pe congestion hai. Or our exports, we have no control because it is the government of India 
which can develop foods and unless that is done, individual businessman has no role to play in that. There are legal frameworks where we have no control and that is the government's prerogative. One example I have given land acquisition because of the legal issues, acquisition of land is very difficult for the business to build industries thereon or to build infrastructure thereon. Availability of resources is again a problem, again external problem. For example, a mixed example of legal issues and availability of resources, the coal blocks in our country were not operational on account of Supreme Court directions for a long and lot many thermal power stations and other industries which were based on coal supplies were adversely affected. But here I am only having a passing reference to these external forces or the external factors on which probably we have no control. But friends, there are internal factors and definitely we can control the internal factors and that is the subject matter of my discussion. I wish to bring about this particular aspect of the Make in India campaign. I wish to draw attention of the audience here, the participants here. And before I proceed further, kindly have a look at these figures. These are, you all understand, uh, young boys and girls, non-performing assets, that is, uh, you understand non-performing assets? What are these? These are, the bank has given loan to any business. Business achhi tarike se manage nahi hua ya kabhi external factors ki wajay se business fail ho raha hai aur wo interest aur principal ko repay nahi kar pa raha then it becomes non-performing asset for the bank. The bank classifies that as non-performing asset. Now see in our country as on 31st of March 2013, 1,94,000,000 non-performing assets the, which substantially increased to 2,64,195 crores. 2,64,195 crores ke non-performing assets hamari country mein as on 31st of March 2014 and. And the biggest worry is that this figure is not at all correct. The Reserve Bank of India time and again has mentioned that in the economy, in the banking sector, there are larger hidden NPAs. Bohut jyada NPAs hain, jo abhi banks identify nahi kar pa rahe hain. Now friends, can you tell me what is the reason? And this is internationally accepted norms ke saap se, India ka ye jo non-performing assets ka ratio hai, maybe with reference to GDP, maybe with reference to the total advances of the banks, it is very high. Uh, maybe some other countries, probably these days, China is having higher NPAs, that is, but their reporting systems and the data are not very reliable. But anyhow, this situation in India is definitely not a healthy situation. Now, friends, my issue is how these many businesses across the country from Punjab to Kerala, from Assam to Rajasthan, or across the sectors. It can be real estate, it can be infrastructure, it can be steel industry, it can be retail industry, it can be aviation industry. How so many businesses are failing across the country? Iske piche koi ek common reason hai kya? Probably, you, you can understand, in the NPAs mein uh, Kingfisher bhi hai, Vijay Malaya ka jo uh, much talked about uh, say business which was very badly managed and became bad. So aur iske andar koi ek chhoti small scale industry bhi hai aur iske andar wo bhi hai jisne gaon ke kisan ne bhens ke liye loan liya hai. So across the sectors, across the geographical locations, the non-performing assets are spread over. There are external factors which we are not discussing, but internal factors probably single largest is that the businesses are not efficiently managed. Those businesses, the individual respective business people 
they have not managed their business efficiently. Therefore, under the same environment, other businesses, other steel industries are success, other handicraft industries are success, other real estate industries uh, units are success, but some other are not successful. The single largest reason probably is that the individual entrepreneur or the individual businessman has not been able to successfully manage the business and in turn there is a colossal waste of the human, of the economic resources of this country. So it is not just a loss of the banks only. Pura jo kuch bhi entity hai, uske andar jitne log ka rozgar pa rahe the, jitne aur stakeholders the. In the last session we discussed about the stakeholders. So all the stakeholders are at loss. The total economy is at loss. Now I will also draw your attention to these figures. These are very interesting figures. You will find DLF. You know that is a listed real estate company. One time it was the number one uh, company, real estate company in particular of the country. KP Singh, who holds the major shares uh, of this company, his net worth based on his investment in the shares and the prices, the, the listed price of the DLF uh, company, uski net worth 1,61,410 crore thi December 2007. Or friends, August 2005, that net worth gir kar ke 15,282 crore. 15,000 crore. It means 90% of the wealth is eroded of that particular company over a period of 8 years. Normally, 8 years ke andar, kam se kam 3 times honi chahiye thi. Agar aap go dekhen, to ye 1.5 lakh se 4.5 lakh ya 5 lakh crore honi chahiye thi uski net worth which is presently is only 15,000 crores of rupees, a decline of 90%. Unidec, the decline is to the extent of 99%. Now you can compare the two even. One, the reduction is 90%, another, the reduction is 99%. So, a bigger mass, a bigger failure is Unidec. Then we have these two uh, Parshana developers also. And on the contrary, you will find, you must have read in the newspapers, Mahindra Group and lot many other industries, they are successful in their real estate business. They are growing, even foreign investors, foreign private equity investors are keen to invest because they find that the business model is very robust, the business is very efficiently managed by some of the companies, some of the industrial houses, the same real estate business. And on the other hand, no one is willing to say advance or invest in the in these companies. The reason, the point I want to emphasize here again is that these people managed, mismanaged their business badly and therefore they have wasted the precious economic resources of the country. Now friends, as I have told you, I am not a research scholar, not an academician. But whatever, at the ground level, I have the feedback or the feeling, I have devoted, I have categorized those aspects in four points only. I feel the individual businessmen need to devote on these four points, then only his business and then only the Make in India campaign can succeed. No amount of infrastructure, no amount of legislation, no amount of very favorable external environment will help. Ultimately, the businessman himself will have to prove his mettle. He will have to prove that yes, he can manage the resources in the best possible manner and he can make the business a success story. Then only the Make in India story can succeed. Now friends, what is methodical and orderly conduct of business? I feel this is badly lacking. In, in our country, the individual, and I am talking particularly the medium scale industries, the larger ones, I am not at all directly referring because most of them, I say, are professionally managed, better managed, but medium MSE sector, medium and small 
sector jo hai msme sector that is infected with this problem where the methodical and orderly conduct of business is missing they are not doing their homework properly unhe kya kaam karna hai and the, the examples are very small agar aap chote industry ko dekhenge to aap ye payenge usne time fix kar rakha hai employees ke liye 9:30 9:30 सारे एम्प्लॉइज को एक्सपेक्ट करता है दैट दे विल रिपोर्ट ही विल गो नॉट बिफोर 11 द प्रोपराइटर विल नॉट रीच द मैनेजिंग डायरेक्टर ऑफ द कंपनी विल नॉट रीच बिफोर 11 हाउ ही कैन एक्सपेक्ट दैट द मेथड और द टाइम मैनेजमेंट ऑफ द कंपनी वुड बी गुड हिज एम्प्लॉइज विल नो दैट ही विल नॉट कम बिफोर 11 देयरफॉर 9:30 इवन इफ दे आर रिपोर्टिंग बिकॉज़ देयर इज बायोमेट्रिक सिस्टम ऑफ रिकॉर्डिंग द अटेंडेंस but that time is definitely not going to be utilized properly us business ko proper conduct karne ke liye wo koi homework nahi kar rahe hain kisi bhi tarike se koi system us business mein develop nahi kar rahe hain they are just coming passing their time and i can tell you friends again my experience that before evening they will have the telephonic calls from their friends or their wives what is the evening schedule and by 4 5 they will be off from the work that is my feeling of the general business people and these type of the people are badly failing in the business therefore unless these business people devote enough time for the business and after devoting time they must work in a methodical manner efficient management of the business should be there whatever they are doing should be done in a methodical and orderly manner then only their business can be successful innovation and research and development is badly lacking research and development i am not saying the research which probably professor manish biani is doing in japan or some of the research scholars of this college are doing in collaboration with japanese universities but every business needs some research some innovation that is every time they must improve the way the business is done every method needs to improve on a constant basis they need to keep on thinking how the same work can be done in a better manner and i feel that thought process <laughs> that thinking is lacking that is lacking badly whatever way they are doing business they are not ready to change and therefore with the change of time all of a sudden they feel that they are out of place all of a sudden they feel that they have not been able to cope up with the changing environment and now it is too late for them to remain in business their survival becomes extremely difficult because unhone kadam se kadam samay ke sath जो कदम से कदम मिलाकर के बदलाव आना चाहिए था वो बदलाव उनमें नहीं आया और मैं जयपुर राजस्थान और इंडिया इन सारे जगह से मैं ये कह सकता हूँ कि बहुत सारे बिजनेस हैं फॉर एग्जांपल इफ यू आर अवेयर ऑफ द ज्वेलरी बिजनेस और द जैम स्टोन बिजनेस ऑफ जयपुर माय फ्रेंड फ्रॉम बेंगलोर वुड फॉर हिज इन्फॉर्मेशन Jaipur was known for gemstone business Jaipur is also known for jewelry business it was very flourishing business Jaipur had a name globally but now that business is almost vanished from Jaipur that if the survival is difficult and if you are reading newspapers surat had a diamond business and surat se diamond industry samapt hoti ja rahi hai ऐसा नहीं है कि जैम स्टोन का बिजनेस या मार्केट साइज श्रिंक हो गया है या ज्वेलरी का बिजनेस या मार्केट साइज श्रिंक हो गया है पॉइंट इज यहां वाले लोगों का मार्केट शेयर बहुत रिड्यूस हो गया है और जो कंट्रीज में या जो व्यापारी मेथोडिकल तरीके से काम कर रहे थे जिन्होंने इनोवेशन रिसर्च एंड डेवलपमेंट और चेंज को अडॉप्ट किया वो लोग सर्वाइव और ग्रो कर रहे हैं जिन्होंने अपने ट्रेडिशनल तरीके से बिजनेस किया और अपने आप को चेंज करने के लिए तैयार नहीं रखा वो लोग आज ये पोजीशन फेस कर रहे हैं एंड टुडे ओनली इन द बिजनेस स्टैंडर्ड देर इज अ बिग स्टोरी
दैट दिस दिवाली जो सूरत के डायमंड आर्टिजन हैं उनके लिए इट्स गोइंग टू बी ए टफ दिवाली बिकॉज बहुत ज्यादा लोगों को वहां ले ऑफ किया गया है द पॉइंट इज दे हैव नॉट होप अप विद चेंजिंग सरकमस्टांसिस एंड दे आर फेलिंग देर फोर एंड इनोवेशन रिक्वायर्स आज आज अगर मैं अपने ऑफिस में माइंड इज अ चार्टेड अकाउंटेंट ऑफिस सपोज माइंड फाइलिंग इज वन जॉब फाइलिंग होती है अगर मैं समय के हिसाब से ये ना समझूं कि टाइम टू कम देर विल बी कॉन्स्टेंट ऑफ स्पेस टाइम टू कम टेक्नोलॉजी को अडॉप्ट करके अगर मैं अपना ऑफिस पेपरलेस ना बनाऊं देन डेफिनेटली अ टाइम विल कम दैट माई वर्किंग विल बिकम एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट एंड मैनेजिंग पेपर्स विदाउट यूजिंग द टेक्नोलॉजी वुड बिकम एक्सट्रीमली डिफिकल्ट देर फोर these small innovations in adopting to the changing circumstances is necessary for the business unless that is done the success is a big question mark in that circumstances and my reference for all these is that if you want to make this make in india campaign a success <coughs> the approach of doing business by the indian business people need to be changed the third issue is the business people the entrepreneurs are not very focused to their business they are not enjoying their business they don't love their business they don't have any focus on the business and this example you will find there was a period where real estate was booming there was a time when share market was booming. और मैं आपको अपने एक्सपीरियंस से फ्रेंड्स बता सकता हूं कि हमारे इंडिया में इन द प्रीवियस सेशन वी आई हर्ड दैट हर्ड मेंटेलिटी ऑफ से ओपनिंग न्यू बिजनेस डिपेंडिंग अपॉन अ स्मॉल सर्च इन द डिमांड मैं आपको बता सकता हूं दैट लॉट ऑफ द एस्टैब्लिश्ड बिजनेस पीपल डाइवर्टेड देयर अटेंशन फ्रॉम देयर ओरिजिनल एंड बेसिक बिजनेस टू रियल एस्टेट they were new to that but the only point was they felt that it is booming there are higher returns there are better returns therefore they switched over to real estate they were not knowing that so they ignored their original strength they jumped to a area to a business which for which they had not enough competence and at the end of the day they lost on both fronts and friends uh, my friend is a banker most of the business people enjoyed or used the entire facility from the bank and diverted the funds to the real estate business diverted the funds their time and energy now they are realizing that they have done a big mistake ignoring their original business and diverting their attention to a new business for which they had not enough competence and therefore on both fronts they have failed and the fourth point is also that they are not devoting they are not devoted to their business i have few people who love their business so much main ek din mujhe dhyan hai mere ek business friend ke sath picnic pe gaya barsaat ka time tha jab picnic se sham ko aa rahe the hum log to maine pucha kaisa raha उसने कहा हाँ यार इतना मजा तो ऑफिस में भी नहीं आता देन आई रियलाइज दैट ही एंजॉयज स्टेइंग इन ऑफिस एंड ही वॉज कंपेयरिंग हिज आउटिंग विद हिज डे स्पेंडिंग इन दफिस दैट इज वॉट अ डिवोशन मीन्स एंड वॉट इज दैट इज वॉट अ डिवोशन गिव्स इफ सम बिजनेस मैन इज डिवोटेड टूवर्ड्स दैट बिजनेस देन डेफिनेटली सक्सेस इज बाउंड टू बी देयर देर इज नो क्वेश्चन दैट दैट बिजनेस would fail and i have got many examples i have where they love their business so much friends i have i often quote example i have a dhobi jo mere neighborhood mein hai and he loves his job so much agar aap usko press karte hue dekhen to aapko lagega ki shayad उसके लिए उसके पास जितने तल्लीनता से जितने तन्मयता से वो प्रेस करता है 
और उसका मतलब ये होता है कि उसके यहाँ से निकला हुआ कपड़ा बेस्ट प्रेस करा हुआ होना चाहिए मैंने बहुत बार देखा है कि कई लोग आ जाते हैं मतलब मैं आपको एग्जांपल जैसे भी बता सकता हूँ कोई जना उसके पास झगड़ रहा होता है कि यार मेरे को तो बारात में जाना है या मुझे ने मेरी तो ट्रेन छूट रही है और मेरे कपड़े प्रेस करके थे बट ही लव दैट उसको प्रेस करनी है बेस्ट प्रेस जब तक वो नहीं कर देगा ही विल नॉट हैंड ओवर यू विल नॉट कम्प्लीट इज जॉब ही लव इज जॉब दैट मच ही सेज इट्स अ प्लेजर फॉर मी और मुझे प्रेस करने में मजा आता है इसलिए मैं प्रेस करता हूँ अर्निंग फॉर मी इज सेकेंड There are people in the business also, but there are people who will always be cursing their business. अरे यार इस business में तो बहुत difficulty है, इसकी बजाय तो वो business अच्छा है, हमारे business में तो ये problem है, हमारे business में ये दिक्कतें हैं. I feel unless this mindset is changed, unless they do business in a manner which gives them enjoyment and pleasure, they will not be devoted and focused to the business. And at the end, I think they are not. Going to succeed in this business. Therefore, friends, from a chartered accountant who has seen so many businesses uh, failing or growing, these are some issues which I feel I must bring to the uh, before you people to ponder upon that if we want to make Make in India campaign successful, बहुत बड़ी बातें करने के साथ साथ ग्राउंड लेवल पे हमें जो बिजनेसमैन का एटीट्यूड है जो बिजनेसमैन का रवैया है टूवर्ड्स इज ओन बिजनेस जब तक वो चेंज नहीं होगा इवन इफ द कैपिटल इज मेड अवेलेबल टू हिम इवन इफ द लैंड इज मेड अवेलेबल टू हिम इवन इफ देर इज डिमांड इन द इकोनॉमी इवन इफ द इंटरेस्ट रेट इज रिड्यूस्ड आई डोंट थिंक द वे ही इज मैनेजिंग द बिजनेस कैन गेट हिम सक्सेस सो फ्रेंड्स that is all from my side a very unstructured deliberation i don't know whether it has any base of any research but that is definitely based on my own experience at the ground level and at this point although nothing very technical but any 